Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an alcohol garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our town fondly. Y'all I am so excited. Still no air horns. Ugh. Insert air horns here. I'm so excited for today's video because I get to talk about the Unearthly Cosmetics collaboration with Heather Austin. I was holding this box upside down. Heather Austin. <laughs> if you don't know Heather Austin, whew, here's a picture. She's an adorable little pumpkin that I'm so excited and honored that I get to meet in September when her and a bunch of other YouTubers come to Florida and get to experience Disney in September when it's gonna be so hot, but whatever whatever. I'm just excited they're going to be here. But seriously, like we're all going to roast. <sighs> Don't wear makeup, babes. Don't wear them. Okay. We're all going to look like melted candles. Okay. <laughs> Which I mean would be kind of funny, but not really. We would scare the children. Anyway, I'm so excited to be talking about this collection because it is really, really cool. Do I hate bugs? Absolutely. Do I hate this packaging? A thousand times. Yes. I think it's so cool looking, but I hate beetles. Ugh, I just, I don't, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But we don't care about that, right? Because we care about the contents of the box. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this beautiful, beautiful look using the contents of this box. And well, we go on a lot of journeys today, okay? <laughs> but before we do that, let me tell you a little bit about the collaboration. So the Resurgence collaboration retails for $86 and will be released on Thursday, May 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For $86, what exactly do you get? Well, you get a lip gloss, a highlighter, and a palette. Now please note, if you're interested in only the highlighter or the gloss, they are exclusive to the box. So you can only purchase either this set or the palette, which the palette retails for $45. So let me show you some up close shots of these products. So the first product is the gloss. It's in the shade Omen. And as you can see, it's a very beautiful milky type gloss that has a transparent base. So all you see besides the beautiful shine is the sparkles, which if you look at it really closely, it looks like there's some blue in there, some pink, some gold, a little bit of purple. There's a lot of different colors going on making this gloss very, very sparkly and beautiful. The next product is the highlighters, which is comprised of two shades. You have Renewal, which is a very beautiful, kind of like almost like fiery orange, but also pink duochrome type highlighter. And then you have the shade Rebirth, which is more of like a, a white kind of gold to pink highlighter. And then last but not least, you have the Resurgence palette, which is made up of 12 different eyeshadows, five mattes, one matte with sparkle, and the remaining six shimmer shades are these very, very beautiful, shifty, shimmery duochromes that look like little alien slut shadows. So now that you know all the details, let me show you how I created today's look. I think I wanna start with the highlighter first because I need to start with the highlighter first. We need to know. Now, I love Unearthly's formula. The last set of highlighters that have come out, I've been wearing them so much so much. I'm surprised I'm not hitting pan yet. Okay. Like <laughs> that's how much I've been wearing them. I love that slick formula. It's one of my favorites. So when I saw these highlighters, I'm intrigued because I don't know if both of them are going to work for me. This one will, <laughs> obviously I'm uncooked chicken, but this one, I'm like, this could be more of a, a blush topper for me. Yeah. This I'm going to insert swatches in the end, but you know what? You know what? I think this could work. This could work. Kind of. There is a little bit of a cast. If I had like a pinkier blush on, like today I'm wearing Pillow Talk from Charlotte Silberry because I, listen, I know I give a lot of shit um, <laughs> to that brand, but I do love Pillow Talk and I love how it looks on my face. Anyway, so I think I am going to probably go in with the shade Rebirth as opposed to, ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go in with Rebirth and we're gonna try a little bit of the renewal, but we're gonna go in with Rebirth though. That's more my speed. I look so cute today. Okay, I look like a fun art teacher. <laughs> All I need is dangly lime green earrings like that look like donuts or fucking something like that. Anyway, so let's go into Rebirth. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's giving me food poisoning. And I mean that in the best way possible. I just love their formula. These are alien slut highlighters without the craft glitter. I love shifty, fun, weird highlighters, but often they have like this very craft Joann's glitter bullshit that I just, I don't like because it emphasizes all the poor choices that I've ever made. And I don't like that. I mean, there is a little bit of glitter to it, but it's not that chunky craft glitter. I hate that. 
that chunky craft glitter. So I'm just going to use another little brush, to kind of buff away any of those rogue sparkles. And on the bright side, nothing's like flying all over my face. So that's good. Oh, that's pretty. That is super pretty. Okay, I kind of want to go in on the other side like did the other highlighter. I'm supposed to go out today. <sighs> It's okay. I'm just going to BJ's, y'all. Oh, okay. All right. You know, I was a little skeptical that this was going to have a weird cast. And you know what? It may be like uh, 0.0001%. There's a slight cast, like a little bit. But I'm sure once I take a brush and buff it out, I feel like it's going to look a little bit more seamless. A little bit of a cast. But that's not bad, though. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, okay. Kind of once you start buffing it into the skin, it starts to really, really melt and blend in. I'm not seeing that line that was just right there. Oh, that's pretty. Heather, babe, I, I'm bowing down to you. These are alien slut highlighters. These are really, really good. I cannot wait to freak people out in DJs. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be like, get away from her. It's <laughs> gonna use just a little bit more because y'all know me. I like to be extra. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay. And I'm just gonna beef it, beef it up on the other side. This one is really, really pretty because I love that kind of white to pink moment. I will say you do notice some of the sparkles a little bit more than you do on this side. This side, I feel like the sparkles do a really good job of like, I don't know, like they're not as noticeable as on this side. And it's micro, teeny, teeny, tiny sparkles. Not the end of the world, but if you're somebody that doesn't like glitter, just a heads up that there is a little bit of it. But compared to some highlighters that are straight up craft glitter, this is not the same thing. There is a little bit of glitter into it, but I ain't mad at it though. I love this like white to pink moment, but I really love this kind of like pinky yellow moment over here. It's super pretty. I'm super happy. Love, love, love this. Okay, so let's move on to the eyeshadow, which I'm super excited about. Ooh, I don't even know what I wanna do with this. I don't know what I wanna do with this. This, and I mean this in the best way possible, reminds me of Halloween. And you know what? In Florida, Halloween starts in August, and it's pretty much the end of May. This makes me so happy. <laughs> in a few short months, it will be pumpkin spice season, okay? <laughs> This is like giving me life right now. I love this because it's so moody. I just, oh, I don't know what I wanna do. Oh, I don't know what I wanna do. What do I do? <laughs> what I do know is I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. I have been loving this so much. It's impossible for me to really use anything else. I still love my NARS Soft Matte, but there's something about this one that just works so well for me. Not every eye primer works for me. This one gives me life. I kind of want to play with um, the Scarab shade because I really don't do a lot of like super... Oh, I kind of want to put this in the corner. I want to make... Okay, 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 okay. I think I know what I wanna do. I wanna use a very, very dark shimmer because I really don't normally do that. A lot of times, really, really light shimmers. And I kinda just wanna switch stuff up. Let's start with this beautiful purple shade. I think it's called Serambus. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Computer? Serambus. Thank you. I won't know until editing if I got it or not. Okay, let's go in with my number 14 from Refer. Now, I don't know in the order that you're gonna see this video because I did film with the Don't Be Jelly palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. So you might see that one first or that'll be the next video, I'm, I'm not too sure. I have been playing with that palette for a minute now and I really do love Unearthly's formula. I think their mattes are solid, but to me the special thing about the brand is their shimmers and their metallics and their duochrome, multi-chrome, the whole nine yards. Those are just fantastic. And I'm such a fan of just like beautiful shifty shades. And this one is not disappointing me whatsoever. I wanna put all the shimmers on my eyes. <laughs> But this is uh, laying down very, very beautifully. Love it. I kinda feel like I wanna put something in the crease, just a little bit, but I don't know what's gonna go very well with this scarab shade because it's so dark and moody. I think I'm gonna definitely use, I'm not a fan of black matte shades with sparkles. Like I'm just not a fan of them because when I start to blend out, I've always find that the sparkle just goes everywhere and it just makes me look like I fucked a disco ball and I hate that, but I do want to try this one out definitely in the outer corner. Oh, what could I put? Maybe, hmm, I don't think I could put anything. No, because I don't want it to take away from that scarab shade. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to use a little bit of that Cosmology shade. It's a dark, dark blue. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it in the crease just to kind of give my eye a little bit of definition. I'm gonna go in with my another Refer 14 brush. I don't want it to like overtake the look. I just wanna add it right there. I'm also going in with a very, very light hand uh, because I don't wanna deal with any sort of fallout today. I'm not in the mood. Not when my base looks so cute. You know what? Now I kind of want to go with that cremation shade a little bit. Cremation. Oh my God. <laughs> Creation creation. <laughs> uh, okay. I haven't had my coffee today. All right. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> it's turning into like a nice, like soft blue gray moment. And then when I add a little bit more of that purple shade, it makes it nice and soft. I like that. It's kind of giving like a nice gray moment, like a frosty blue gray. That's pretty. That's what I really like about the mattes in this palette is that when combined, it kind of creates a totally different color without it getting muddy, which I really, really appreciate. All right, we have that down. I look adorable. Now I just want to put Scarab. I kind of want to do the purple one. No, we're going to use Scarab. We're going to put Scarab all over the lid, but I am going to go in with a little bit of NYX Glitter Glue. One of my favorite brushes to apply shimmers is the Lethal Cosmetics 225 Packing Brush. I don't know if it's meant for shimmers. I don't care, but I actually need to order another one of these because they are so good. I don't know, it's just so, I have, y'all know I have hooded eyes. It's hard to find a really like small brush that doesn't go all over the place. And that's what I like about this one. Oh. Oh yes, this is everything that I wanted it to be. Oh, it's so moody. There is barely any fallout, which is really, really nice. It was just like one little speck so far. So I left a little bit of space right in the inner corner. So I'm gonna try to see how that regeneration shade is gonna look right there. But I kind of love the idea of putting regeneration just in the inner corner. But I wanna see what that looks like though first. Cause I think I wanna put that life shade. Oh. Oh, I look like such a bad bitch. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. So let's go ahead and pack the shade on. And it's very, very pigmented, which is really, really nice. But I just want to pack this on as much as humanly possible. And I want to bring it over a little bit of the scarab shade, just a little bit, just to kind of marry the two a little bit better. Oh, that looks so fucking sick. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love that. <laughs> I am happy. I look like a Disney villain. A bunch of awesome creators are actually gonna be coming to Disney this September. And I'm so excited to finally get to meet Heather. Cause I've heard nothing but good things about Heather. And she seems like a complete sweetheart in person, just like she does in her videos. And so I'm excited to meet her. Heather, you're giving me life right now. You're giving me evil queen moment. And I love, I love that. I love this. I am so happy right now. Okay, so what I wanna do now is put a little bit of this life shade just in the inner corner because mama loves a good white shade. Oh, oh, this kind of matches the highlighter. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. I really like that life shade because it matches a beautiful, pinky white highlighter. So let's put that in the inner corner. So the next thing I wanna do is take that beetle shade and line my top lashes with it. I love this. I wanted to do two eye looks, but I just, I don't, I, this is so fun. <laughs> We're doing this one again. I need to do this one. I, tell, I, I just want to keep playing with this. This is so fun, this palette. All that lime green. All right, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this eyeliner from Gucci. It's like a nice, like, slate gray. I'm going to go in with that beetle shade. I want to smoke out the lower lash line. Make it really, really dramatic. And then I'm going to go back into that regeneration shade. A little bit right in the inner corner. A little bit more eyeliner. I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, okay. I really wanted to do another eye look, but I love this too much not to replicate it, okay? Like, I need to. I need this. BJ's needs this, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look so cool getting my toilet paper today. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, let me do this side, and then we're gonna play with the lip, and then we're gonna talk about it. I love this so much, I look so cute. So the next thing we have is a lip gloss, and, oh, ooh, okay. It's very frosty on its own. There is sparkle in it, but it's not gritty, which is amazing. I am usually not a fan of gloss with sparkle in it, because it usually feels like sandpaper. Not this bitch, though. This bitch is nice. Ooh, okay. I need to put a, I want to put a lipstick on, though, but I like how it looks 
on its own. There's like little sparkles of like pink and orange. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. So we're gonna take this off and I'm going to probably put on a basic bitch lipstick. <laughs> Who are we kidding? And then uh, put the gloss right over it. And we're gonna put on one of my favorites, uh, Blaze of Noon from Gucci. The only thing I don't like when I do that, it always stains the doe foot. That's my only complaint. Ooh, I love this. I love milky glosses that just look thick and luxurious, and that's what this is giving. Okay, let me zoom you out because I feel like you're right up in my mouth, and uh, let's talk about it. So this is a completed look, and I am obsessed. I look like a Disney villain, and you can't tell me otherwise. Okay, let's talk about the whole collection. I... <laughs> This is a purely a preference thing. I don't like bugs. This freaks me the fuck out. It does. I I, I, I think the packaging is really cool. It's so alien-esque and just fun. And I love that. But like this is literally nightmare fuel for me. And I hate it. And it makes me think of uh, Mel Thompson's palette, right? I love that palette. But like I just, the bugs, even though they're definitely a little bit more cartoony in comparison to this, I was like, I am just not a fan. Like, it's cool, but like bugs and butterflies, like all of that freaks, I, I just, I don't like it. I have PTSD from giant cockroaches in New York. Like this, the beetles freak me out. Okay, all that to say, the box is really cool. It is cool. Like, I think it's constructed really well if you are able to get like this as like the PR piece. If you can get it, it's really awesome. For an indie company to come out with something like this, that's amazing. Because I will say, not every indie brand's packaging is like good. I'm not gonna lie. Not every indie brand has good packaging. This, I would say, and for me, my favorite one has been Lethal Cosmetics, followed by Unearthly. Unearthly, they started out as Alien Cosmetics and they have grown so much in terms of packaging, how it feels in your hand. This is awesome. A++++. This is fucking worth it, right? But you're not buying the box, right? You're buying the contents in it. So let's talk a little bit about the contents, right? Starting with the gloss. This is nice. This is really, really beautiful. I love how it looked on its own, but I will always probably pair this over a liquid lipstick or a lipstick. It's comfortable, it's soft, it's smooth, and the best part, while there is glitter, kind of making it a very beautiful shifty gloss, I don't feel the glitter, I don't feel the grit. It feels very, very comfortable. Is this bleeding into my outer corners? No. And I love that. Usually gloss will always just kind of trap itself into the corners of my mouth, making me look like I'm foaming, okay? <laughs> and this doesn't do that. It's just a beautiful milky gloss. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Tower 28 in a way. I'm just like in terms of consistency, it's just really nice. It feels really good. And I love that it's a clear gloss that has this like beautiful effect. It definitely made my basic bitch Gucci lipstick that much better. Love this, 10 out of 10. When it comes to Unearthly's lip products. They've been fine for me in the past. Nothing has been like earth shattering, right? This is by far have been my favorite lip product from them. Now moving on to the highlighters. I am such a fan of their recent highlighter release. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they have become some of my favorite highlighters because I love highlighters that give that alien slick glow without it being just shitty craft glitter nonsense, right? I love highlighters that blend into the skin that really melt the product so it doesn't sit on top of it. And I love when the formula just feels so like silky smooth to the touch. This is that same formula that I know and love from the brand. Now, I was a little apprehensive about the shade Renewal because I thought this is not gonna work for my skin type, which is a piece of loose leaf paper. I should have known better. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking because this is wonderful. So the shade Rebirth has this very beautiful, and I, I'm so sorry, I feel like my lights are not really picking it up, but if you see me in person, you'd be like, bitch, you slay. Um, <laughs> it has like this very beautiful like white kind of pink moment and because the base is transparent it melts into the skin as opposed to sitting on top of it looking like a stripe it looks absolutely stunning i love that tinge of pink it just brings so much life to my face so when i tried renewal i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna have the same effect i'm done that looks so good i will say though if i don't buff it out you could tell that it is slightly a little too dark for me by like 0.0001 percent like very very small amount but when i start to buff it into the skin it it just becomes this beautiful alien slut highlighter and then it blends so beautifully with the blush and the bronzer making it seamless which is fucking great i actually really love the renewal side the renewal side has like that deeper pinkish like orangey pink color it's super pretty like i just honestly both sides i'm, I'm just i'm living for 
I'm happy. I'm a little pig and shit. This is beautiful. It's that Alien Slut highlighter that I know and love. There is a little bit of micro glitter to the formula. It's not that shitty craft formula glitter, right? So when you do start to buff it out, it doesn't like move all over your face. It does stay concentrated, which is nice. And they're very, very small. I have some fine lines up here because, you know, I'm getting older and shit. And it's not settling into my fine lines. It's not emphasizing any texture. Everything looks good. This 10 out of 10, like, absolutely love. Heather, baby, you did a good job with that. So now moving on to the palette. First of all, I, I do as much as I hate, I hate the outside. I just, the bugs freak me out. I love that it's in this beautiful like book kind of format. I love that palettes are coming out with this kind of format. It makes me think of my childhood, which makes me think of better times and not having to pay bills, you know? <laughs> I love that. So when you do open it up, you get a nice mirror here and you get this beautiful 12 pan palette. Now, obviously I didn't get to try all the shades today, right? So the ones that I did get to try were Beetle, Cosmology, Scarab, Serumbus, Seremba, I, sorry, computer. Serumbus. Thank you. And the shade Life. Oh, and Regeneration. So I use, I would say, like, half the palette. And I really wanted to do a second look, but this look is, like, giving me life right now, okay? And I need to command respect everywhere I go today. So Disney villain princess wins. Three mattes that I tried, they're great. I have no issues with them. I love the fact that the mattes don't look muddy. So when you are combining colors, that they actually make a new color as opposed to it just being, like, a muddy, bullshit, shitty mess. Love that. Love the shade Regeneration. That is a nice, beautiful lime green. If you're in the market for a lime green, that's a perfect lime green but I do love the purple shade next to it. It's just such a beautiful light purple shade that just looks beautiful in the crease. When used with Cosmology it really gave this beautiful like soft gray color like a, a graveyard gray and I'm like bitch I'm living like I just love it. Those have been fantastic. Now when it comes to the shimmers in this palette they're so good. So I only really use Scarab all over the lid and I fucking regret nothing. Like I regret nothing. I think it's so beautiful. It's so moody. It's like this beautiful gunmetal color that really just makes my eyes pop. And I love that. <laughs> And it really is paired so beautifully with the purple and the blue, like, bitch, I'm living, okay? And then with the green, it just really makes it look so dramatic and fun. Like, I had a lot of fun playing with this palette. And I love the shade Life. It has, like, this really just beautiful, I don't know, it's like a twinge of, like, kind of gold, but there's maybe some pink in there, too. I don't know. It really ties the highlighter in very, very well, I thought. This is very consistent with their recent releases. Um, the one that, that comes to mind is the Don't Be Jelly palette. That's a fantastic palette. Again, I'm not sure when you're gonna see this video to that one. But anyway, it's very, very similar to that formula if you do have that palette. I honestly can't wait to take this off my face and play around with this purple shade down here. This looks so goddamn good. As well as this beautiful like hot pink fuchsia color. I'm excited. This is a, such a pretty little palette. Again, it reminds me of Halloween and I mean that in the best way possible. I think it's because of like this whole row right here, just giving me Halloween vibes. But I just love this mutant green though. It's so good. In any case, I'm excited to continue to play with this palette and continue to create more looks because I feel like the looks are endless when it comes to this little guy. God, especially that purple shade. Oof, oof, oof. That's so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. That said, I really, really love this whole collection. It was a lot of fun to play with and I cannot wait to continue to play with it. So if you're interested in wanting to check out this collection, it's coming out on Thursday, May 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, congratulations to Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics. Y'all did something here and it's fucking beautiful and I love it so much. Honestly, like evil Disney queen right here. Can't tell me otherwise. Now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you're interested in picking up this collection and if so, what do you think your favorite product is gonna be? And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but really disgusting, but also really, really sweet. Garbage but afloat. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one and have a grand old time. If you want to know what is currently on my face, besides today's products, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.